happy Halloween everyone or as I like to say happy birthday Beetlejuice and I'm making this video on Halloween but I will definitely not be putting up before then so I just wanted to wish you guys all a happy Halloween I hope you had a great day I'm celebrating the holiday with my pumpkin sweatshirt and my candy corn Halloween jewelry and this pumpkin of course that says happy Halloween so just wanted to wish you guys all a great day I hope you had a fun day and all that jazz and yeah okay so um hey guys Jody here again and if you're new here hi I'm Jody like I said on my channel I talk about Broadway and books and in today's video I'll be going over what I read in September a long awaited long overdue super late reading wrap up so let's get on to it so in September I read a book called St. X by Leslie Shockin. I'll go over what the book is about, my thoughts, and my star rating. So St. X uh, centers around the Thomas family. And the Thomas family goes away on vacation every so once in a while to get away from work, school, and just the everyday stress of life. And um, they chose an island called St. X to go visit at, vacation at, and they're going to be staying at a resort called Indigo Bay. They arrive at the island and everything at the resort is beautiful. Um, the ocean is beautiful. The food is great and, you know, it's just a, a great place to get away, sit back and relax. And the, the family, the Thomas family does just that. As, as with as with any vacation though, the time comes for you to pack your bags and head on home. And that time has arrived for the Thomas family. And as they're packing their things, they notice how the oldest daughter, Allison, is not in her room. They, The parents really don't think much of it because Allison, you know, she's at college now, she's very, always been a very independent person. She's met a lot of people her own age at the resort, become friendly with them, and really more or less on the whole vacation, the whole trip, she's kind of gone, gone off on her own here and there, and they trust her, and, you know, they don't really think much of it. Hours go by, though, and then they start to get more concerned because she should have been home by home. She should have been in her room by now, and, you know, they contact the hotel staff who contact the police who set up a search party to find her. They don't end up finding Allison and the family extends their stay at the resort and, you know, they're not going to ho going home without their daughter. So days go by and Allison's still nowhere to be found. And until she is found, unfortunately, they find her dead floating in the waters of a nearby K to the island called Fairway K. St. X deals with the aftermath of this horribly tragic event. And um, it's a book that deals heavily with grief and loss and how one moment, just one single moment can alter the course of someone's life. So as far as my thoughts on this book, um, I I did not know this going into reading this book, but I quickly learned. This is Alex, Alexis Shockin's first novel, and I have to say I am just in awe of this because like, when reading this, it feels like a seasoned writer, someone who's written several novels at this point. And the fact that this is her first novel is just like, you have to give credit where credit is due and just say how this, how amazing your book was. I. I enjoyed it so much and um, I'm in awe and it's inspiring. I'm in just in awe of how you wrote this as your first novel. Um, it's very inspiring um, as a writer. <laughs> so, I mean, I have a blog, but you know, I'm not like a writer writer, but you know, I just write my thoughts on things sometimes. So what can I say? Um, aspiring writer maybe. Um, but um, yeah, so the way, um, the author's attention to detail was remarkable in this book. Um, the writing was clear and focused and precise. And the way the story was put together was like, it was like woven together. The dedication that I had to take to put this book together, um, like I said, truly inspiring and have to give credit where credit is due and just say how great this is. Um, as far as the story, it, it focused primarily on two characters that of Allison's younger sister, Emily, and one of the men accused of Allison's death um Clive and you really got to know who these characters were not only um after Allison's death but also who they were before her death and how it really affected them in their everyday lives um the story was written not in a linear fashion as far as start middle end it dealt with every timeline and the timelines would constantly jump between past present and future throughout the whole novel Throughout, the, throughout chapters, through, from page to page, even, page to page even. And you might think, oh wow, that can get confusing. It probably wouldn't work, but it really did work in this novel. It was handled 
very well and it really added to the story so much more you saw all the, you saw many more layers to the characters because of how the story was written in that way and the last aspect that um really stood out to me um was you know in stories you have the main characters and supporting characters and you really only get to hear from them and it's very rare that you hear from like an extra if you will someone who just has maybe a line or two who maybe isn't even given a name you don't really hear from many other characters besides those ones that were the story was intended to be told about but in this story um at the end of every main chapter i will say um was like a page or two dedicated to these extra characters where you got to hear what they were thinking what they were feeling what they went through what they're going through and by the author giving these characters a voice it showed how Allison's death not only affected her immediate family and those accused of her death but also how this tragedy affected so many more people whether they personally knew Allison or not so I um lastly think that you know this is a story that like I said deals heavily with grief and loss and tragedy and when I'm reading this book you feel every possible emotion um and grief I'm, I'm sorry you feel like a sadness frustration hope um it's a story that is about someone who thought they had moved on from something who let something go but how they realize they've never left that moment in time and they've been stuck there the whole time and how they have to go on that journey like they have to go on a journey and to get to the other side to not let this moment to not forget about this moment but to not let it hold them down push them back from living their lives and um you know i just really thought it was such a well-written book and i was thinking to myself when i read this after i read this you know i can think of another book that deals with grief loss and tragedy tragic circumstances that is also written in what i would call a quite you know beautifully tragic way and that's another book called um saint act i'm saying uh i'm i'm great at this uh, uh everything i never told you by celeste ng um different stories but stories that deal with the same topics and they h handle these topics very well as far as grief and loss and how we all deal with that in our own way at our own time and they these are topics that are present in both of these books different stories obviously but I would say if you like one book you'll like the other and they're two of the best books I've ever re read and okay so um as far as my star rating um this is five stars for me and I love Broadway and theater if you've watched my channel up to this point you already know that but when I say this you'll know how much I love the book I love this book like I love a Broadway show so I can't recommend it enough and yeah um if you're looking for a more detailed review um as far as my thoughts and you know what this is about i did write a spoiler free review for this book on my blog link to my blog is in the description below um my writing is a little bit more focused and precise than i am in these videos because i'm usually like i'm not the best you know i'm not very polished presence <laughs> i'm a bit all over, over the place and not put together and i try my best but you know i seem to I'm never going to be a great on-camera personality and I'm trying to accept that, <laughs> but I try. Um, so yeah, check out my blog, link to my blog's in the description below. I also talk about theater, Broadway, television, usually very randomly. You never know what I'm going to talk about next. So if you like that, check out my blog and I thank you for the support in advance. Um, you know, lastly, let me know in the comments if you ever read Saint X by Alexa Shotkin and, you know, if so, how did you like it? What are your thoughts and feelings on it? And you know what did you read in september and october what do you hope to read do you have any book recommendations i'd love to hear your thoughts in the comments and that's gonna be it for today's video until next time um when i talk about my next broadway show which will be jekyll and high that's my next video and happy halloween or happy belated halloween at this point but i hope you had a great day and until next time bye <laughs>